All right, guys, now that we've got our new enclosure patch pan, I need to remove the tray that I currently have and also get rid of uh, some of these little modifications that didn't quite well work. So I put this in here just to kind of contain most of the liquid there. Problem is, there's caulk in here and it just doesn't, it doesn't seal it up. So I'm going to remove all this stuff, pull this tray out, get rid of this little drip edge that I modified. That was another modification. Get rid of that. And then I'm going to clean all this up so that I can put the patch pan up underneath and weld it up. Alright, so let me get all this cleared out. Okay, well you can see that I've got this, all the tray and the brackets and everything removed. Uh, it was pretty difficult. Originally I had tacked some one by, it's an eighth inch flat bar. It was one inch. I had it tacked all the way around the edge underneath to get the tray some support. Luckily, I just tacked it and I didn't weld it completely. Otherwise, I probably would have never been able to cut it off. But I went up under there with my cutoff wheel and was able to cut those off. Okay, now that I've got the tray removed, I've got everything cleaned up and ready to weld in the patch panel. Now it's time for us to work on the patch panel. Alright guys, well, still working on trying to get uh, this TIG welding down. Uh, I did get some smaller filler rod and I've tried it a couple times not doing too great with adding the filler rod but as far as just trying to fuse the two coupons together um, I'm really trying to concentrate on this heat signature and trying to get it smaller it's I think this is pretty good right here this color I'm not real sure um, but you can see how wide this is here and it, it still looks really hot to me, but it doesn't have that nice um, color that I would hope. You can see this one's kind of wide and it's kind of dull. Uh, these are definitely fused together. They're not coming apart, so I mean that's a good thing. That's really all I really want. Um, I think as time goes on and I get more experience, um, the heat penetration will be uh, a little bit less. And for instances where I need to be concerned about that. I think uh, as time goes on, I'll get better, and so it won't be such an issue. But for what I'm needing to do now, welding this tray up, I really don't think uh, heat penetration is going to be too big of an issue. I've definitely got enough of it, so I know it's going to fuse it together, but uh, it's not as easy as uh, it looks on YouTube, believe me, or at least for me. All right, well, I'm out here welding up my pan. I got really, I, I burn a, I did really good right around through here, and then I burn a hole at the end right here, so I had to kind of fill that in. So this corner here, I've got a little square that I'm going to be patching in right there. So I'll be trying to weld that in. And you can see I've done that on this corner. Now, I did really good right here. This side, I got it. I started this way and was going towards the corner and started off too hot there so it kind of bit it out. However, that's okay because this is all going to be up underneath the pan so we shouldn't have any problem. This corner here, I did pretty good. My main concern is to not have any leaks. Uh, I'll work on pretty later once I get better at TIG welding, but so far so good. Now I've got to close this up a little bit and then weld uh, all this down so we'll see how that goes uh, most of this is without filler rod I'm having trouble adding filler so just need more practice with that so alright well I'm moving right along I did the inside corners here um, I was pretty happy with this it turned out really nice actually looks kinda like I knew what I was doing uh, nice little uh, fillet there of course this is with no filler I had to dab a little filler there in the corner now the other side had a little bit of a gap here and I was trying to fill that in same as this corner here so I used a little bit of filler it doesn't look as pretty however um, I'm gonna grind all this down and then we'll see what it looks like 
my main concern is no leaks so I don't really care I mean I care what it looks like but it's not as important as whether or not it leaks so the good thing about working with this metal and welding is you can always uh, grind it down add more grind it down until you get it looking like what you want uh, I'm gonna I've tacked this in place I've got it you know kind of clamped down so that it's nice and uh, tight I'm gonna just do a fillet weld right here without any filler I've got it clamped to this table so that hopefully it'll be straight it's a little bowed there but I think I can get all this flattened out hopefully that's gonna keep it flat I'm just gonna kinda work my way back and forth I think probably the best thing to do and uh, we'll see I'm a little concerned about this circle and welding up the tube but we'll tackle that when we get to it okay well I've got that all welded up I had to add some filler rod right there because there was like a gap started over here and I just worked my way down I probably could have kept going but I was getting a little uh, interrupted there and a little it kind of hooked you know held me up there where I had those tacks but then over here I was able to kind of see the tack coming up and uh, kind of go around it and there at the very end that last about one inch I was really happy with that I even kind of came around the corner a little bit so all in all pretty good uh, it's taken it's taken a little while to kind of get this technique down with the TIG welding but it's just a matter of practice I think and then now trying to weld up something with all the different angles and you're having it turned apart it just takes practice you gotta you know it's not like just welding a coupon now this was pretty much just welding like a coupon but instead of going left to right I was actually pulling it this direction towards me which actually was a little bit more comfortable to me but so far so good I've got to try to weld this pipe in uh, I think that's going to be a little more challenging trying to go around something round but we're going to keep doing it until we get it done I'm about out of argon I only picked up a small 40 cubic bottle and you can see the gauge there is on zero and I've got still a few more bursts left in there I don't know actually how much gas is left in there when you get to that point but I probably should have went with an 80 but I wasn't really sure I don't have a lot of space so I figured I didn't want to store a bigger bottle but I think I'll swap that out for an 80 all right guys well I've got the tube welded up I uh, wasn't too big of a deal I did weld it up and then grind it down and as you can see not a big deal um, so it didn't have to necessarily look pretty uh, this was my first attempt at welding something round and having it go around uh, I think it turned out really good uh, it, maybe it was a little too hot and it was a little difficult just kind of going around I had to kind of start and stop start and stop but pretty satisfied with that um, as long as it doesn't leak I'm I'll be ecstatic uh, on the inside you can see it got pretty hot there's some a couple of little craters there I'm gonna wire brush this and then uh, maybe come back grind it make sure it's flat and then come back and maybe fuse this together uh, so it doesn't have that crack all the way around there so that's what I'm gonna do next so all right well let's take a look at it now since I kind of just went over this now this was with no filler rod or just kind of went around and uh, made sure that was sealed up I'm gonna go back now and I'm gonna grind that down and hopefully it look good and work just fine all right well I've got it all grind uh, ground down and you can see there's there's a couple little low spots there so I'm just gonna kind of go back and hit those and see if I can't even it up a little bit I think it's sealed up pretty good but just for my own peace of mind I just want to kind of hit those little spots right there I got this cleaned up pretty good pretty happy with that I might take a file just to kind of round that out a little bit 
Now this pan kind of overlapped the tray here and there was like a big gap up under here. Now even though even though the weld here I think this seam was uh, sealed up really well I thought I thought well since I'm trying to learn how to TIG and uh, it might be a good idea to just kind of see if I can fill that in. I have to tell you, it was pretty difficult because trying to get the torch in here in this little space and get it upright, uh, I found it pretty difficult. But it looks like I got it pretty good. And so now I'm just going to kind of go back and just kind of grind this down a little bit and uh, smooth it out best I can. And then this pan should be ready to weld in. And I'll do that next. Okay, so I've got it kind of positioned in here in the enclosure. You can kind of see how it's going to work. Hopefully now everything should just kind of flow down, collect in the tray, and then drain out. I just got it wedged in here, and uh, I also went and painted it yesterday. I left the edges unpainted right here because that's where the weld will be, hopefully, and Hopefully that'll work out and it won't burn off the paint. We'll see. So now I'm just going to kind of go through here, try to clamp this up as best I can, and uh, tack the corners, and then we can finish welding it. All right, I got the pan welded in, or tacked in place, I should say. Uh, the positioning's pretty good. Uh, I was a little bit off this way, just a hair, but I think I'll be all right. I just need to make sure I can get this... Uh, welded in. I started welding right here. I got about a half inch done. No filler rod, just fusing the two pieces together. Uh, that looks really, really good. Pretty happy with that. So, if I can get the rest of it to look just like that, I'll be a happy camper. Uh, that's about a half inch, and I got about, I don't know, three feet to do. So, we'll see. Alright, so I've got the pan all welded up, and I decided to go ahead and use filler rod. I wasn't going to use filler at first, but I decided to go ahead and uh, I needed to practice anyways. So, well, I think uh, one thing's for sure, it's sealed up and it's not going to leak. However, uh, it ain't, it, you know, it's not the prettiest of welding, but this is my first TIG welding project, so I think having to get in here and these crooks and crannies and, and different angles and and having to go both directions it was it was quite challenging to be honest with you but for the most part I think it looks pretty good now I tried some dab technique but mostly I just kind of laid the I just kind of laid it down in there in the seam and just kind of went along uh, dabbing at these different angles was proving to be kind of difficult so but looks pretty good I think I'm gonna clean this up take a good good look at it to make sure there's no little uh, pockets or just little holes pinholes or something that I missed and then we'll grind it down and see what it looks like and if I need to go back and add some more filler somewhere well I can do that all right got the patch panel all welded in I ground it down just a little bit uh, I didn't try to smooth it out, just kind of smooth it just a little bit. You can see there's still some edges there where the weld is. And then I put a coat of paint on it. Hey, I tell you what, there's nothing like watching paint dry, right? So, after this dries, I guess tomorrow morning I'll come back. i got to put the door back on the enclosure, and I just want to run some coolant through here. There's probably some grinding dust and stuff in here. I need to get all this cleaned out and just kind of do a good wash down. And then uh, I'm going to dump out all the coolant, refresh that, and uh, I should be good to go. But I'm uh, really happy with the way the tray turned out. And now hopefully it's not going to leak. And hopefully now it's not going to leak, which is going to be really, really nice. But we'll try it out tomorrow and see. Okay, guys. Well, I got the patch panel in place. Pretty satisfied with that. Best of all, no leaks. I'm really, really happy about that. I've uh, cleaned out my coolant tank, 
got a whole fresh batch of uh, Cool Right 2290 in here, and uh, really happy. So I think this new uh, patch panel is going to work out really good. It kind of funnels every all the coolant naturally wants to go to this corner anyways from the design of the enclosure. So now it'll just go down into that catch basin there. And of course I'm going to still use the original screen that I had. That'll keep all the debris uh, kind of out of there, out of the coolant. So that kind of catches any chips there. And uh, we'll just have to see once we start uh, running some parts see how well it really works out. Well I guess that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching guys. If you're new to my channel please subscribe. That way you'll get a notification when I post a new video and if it's something you're interested in you can click on it and check it out. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and most importantly be safe.